Hello and welcome to another brand new episode of Great Tiny Travels. Today is a very special day indeed because we are leaving this place here where we have been staying for the last, wow, months. Today we are undertaking one bigger trip even. It will be for one or two weeks and we will go to Sangye Island. It is a very beautiful island. It is, wow, beautiful water, beautiful beaches. It's uh, a bit more remote. We are driving now to Manado for two hours and we will take a boat that will take us through the night. We will take off at around seven and um, be there in the morning, I think. We will take you guys with us on this beautiful journey and um, I'm so excited to see what you think about it because I, I am very excited. Gwyn is very excited. We are all excited. So, shall we get on the bike? Yeah, let's go on the road. See you there. Guys, you made it to the harbor and there is quite the action going on here. It's, it's full, we even had trouble to find this. But not really trouble to find this because it's so much, so many people going here. I think Gwyn is panicking again. No, I'm not. Oh, uh, okay. And you look relaxed? <laughs> not forced at all. Uh, so the boys are here. Okay, let's go. They're having the bike there. <laughs> Photo. It's a video, it's a big video. <laughs> We got uh, okay. Hundred K. Yeah. For the service. Yeah. Uh, That's what Billy said. Uh, it's a hectic, hectic situation here. People seem to be stressed. They seem to have trouble with the bike to bring it on board. Let's just hope that it works. They're probably very trained in this. So now they are putting the ropes on the bike, they're just connecting them here. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm always in the way here. There's so much happening here. For some. Yes, time. Look at this. Whoa. Whoa. Looking for the seats. So I'm lying down now. Found a seat. Huh? In the, in the in the boat, and, uh, I got some some nazi for later a snack. We're um, chilling there, having a phone call now. There's something that separates us. We have a wall between us, and it's extremely hot, guys. It's, 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 see my hair? It's all wet. It's super hot and cool. People are still selling nasi bungkus and stuff like that. Oreo, maybe about chocolate. Uh, chocolate. Cappuccino. 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 Yang ini. Cappuccino di mesos. Gak chocolate. Chocolate. Astor. 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 Ini. Mesos. Mesos. Chocolate. Chocolate mesos. I want this. I want it. Fine. I'll. I want this then. Why the box? Twenty-five thousand. It's twenty-five k for one. Uh huh. Oh, what? Yeah. Whole box we get. Yeah. One box. Let me take this box. You. You decide, babe. You decide. But I want the Oreo. Oh, Oreo. I want this one. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank when you go on both sides, you can always be sure that people sell yeah. food and it's not that expensive, I have to say. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. After a short night of not much sleep, I finally get out again. People have the habit of smoking in, inside. Uh, this is a bit weird. You can just smoke outside, it's not even far. But that's that's the, uh, the most not nice thing. Anyway, we are um, we already got someone who will take care of the bike. We haggled um, for loading the bike. It costs us 150. 
and now we said now it's 100 for, for bringing the bike out, out of the from the, from the boat. We finally arrived Sangihe. We were clueless where to go the first day here, but we arrived at this guest house with such beautiful view. After that, we decided to just drive around and see what we find for a few days here. So we've been driving, um, driving around and looking for a nice sunset place and um, maybe swim or something like that. So we've been driving a little um, beautiful road as you saw before. And um, we've been reminded of something. I think it's important for all of us to remember uh, when you're outside, guys, just, just don't forget to not poop in public. It's, it's important. Like you see the sign. If you don't speak Bahasa, that's, that's what it said. Oh yeah. Anna mema suki kawasan stop bab. Stop bubs. Be abe. Be abe. Be abe. It's like, yeah, don't do the big business here. So yeah, don't forget. <laughs> if you don't know Bahasa, you will, you will see it on this image. So yeah, just, just, you know, don't, don't poop in public. It's simple as that. We arrived at the beach here and um, wow, it's perfect light, perfect condition. People are chilling there in front of us, it's so beautiful. They all seem so relaxed. That's exactly the vibe, just a whole village or families chilling here. We spent a while here in Pantailesa. It's actually a snorkeling spot too. But we spend time here chatting with the locals and enjoying a beautiful sunset view instead. You can see over there that pretty little house um, standing by the side of the beach is a school um, of 13 students. That is so cute. That is so beautiful. I mean, imagine having preschool here. That is amazing. <laughs> look at this. I didn't go swimming because I didn't want my pants to get wet. And now look at me. <laughs> the last few moments before we go, I'm, I wet my pants. And I will sit on the scooter with wet pants. Great, Patrick. Yeah, Sangi, first day. Our first impression of the island is the very warm, welcoming people and the peaceful villages. From the moment we arrive, people greeted us and offer help with what we need and even teach the local language. It's very easy to make friends here. Okay, it's time to leave. We say goodbye. <laughs> say bilam <laughs> dada. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, semoga kita ketemu lagi. Yeah, makasih. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We explored a bit further and visited another village in the island for sunset. And we found Dessa Sasiwung, a peaceful village on the west coast of the island. So we are here in the Sasiwung beach. It is located in the village of Sasiwung. We actually access this beach through a local's um, backyard. So this is basically their backyard. And yeah, it's just, it's very beautiful. <laughs> Witnessing a very magical sunset with um, Mega and Rodino and it's so amazing. It's so magical. Look at that There's Patrick hanging out with the kids flying his drone. This is a perfect Perfect way to end the day. I am so happy and we're so happy to be here <laughs> The next few days a thrilling waterfall adventure awaits us but we wouldn't have made it without Septian and Andy. I mean, look at the roads coming here.
Um, Sangi hair. So beautiful here. We wouldn't have found this place without them. So yeah, it's very hidden to us. Like crazy. It's like inside the wilderness. Aku kena batu. Sini. Alright. Situ. Now, this is a great start to our adventures, but we have more exciting ones coming soon in the island of Sangihe. So stay tuned for more next week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on our notifications to see more of this island and Indonesia.